Okay, ready, go. Ready, go. Did you do anything to your swing? <laughs> no, that's probably what it looked like yesterday. Hmm. The thing that I don't, thing with the driver that I don't like the look of is at the end from a face-on view where it looks like I'm lifting and it looks like I do that. But that's the... Well, actually, the posture is not bad. But when you, when you look at uh, how you start the swing, at the beginning here, So if you have a good body shift and then arm motion. Yeah, the the club is moving a bit early here. Yeah. That's one thing I've tried to really do is get that move. Mm. So have uh, this body motion and then like uh, you you uh, start the uh, mower, mm -hmm. then use the body and then pull up instead of just pulling it. Well, if your arm is strong enough, then you can do that. But um, so when you start, uh, try to uh, shift the body, and then try to uh, turn here. But um, yeah, the, it seems the club is moving a bit uh, early. Do you like if you separate it into two? Because in my mind, there's two ways that I'm caught between when starting and the, the first one would be like the one that you just described and then the second one is the one that I've been trying to do of every, like pressure moves up and right almost like I'm pushing off the left and then winding up and then loading down into it. Is there one that you so you can have uh, the feel of uh, excessively shifting away and then coming back that's okay if you can uh, handle it so try it here. So intentionally try to uh, shift away quite a bit more yes, yes. So, uh, because I've been doing more of this. Mm. So, try to shift away more, and move the pelvis more, and then come back here. So, more. Go, go out, and then recenter here. Yeah. Yeah. More that way. Now, now hit the ball. There was a bit, uh, the clip head was a bit low, so it hit the body of the T. But again, try to keep a bit more away motion. Yeah. So that type of motion will give you early body motion, but because you will recenter after that, so it shouldn't be a problem. You are not staying here, but you are recentering. Yeah. But the only thing is that you go here and then at the end of the back swing, slight knee bend here, go to this position. Then on the way down, just to push the ground. Push it. Yeah, yeah. Is there any problem with doing one or the other doing this versus this? Is there either problem with doing this one? The, the letter, this is better because you are dropping this side slightly so that you can use really push the ground okay. instead of quickly going this way. here. When some of the people do the kettlebell swings and they start moving this way, yes, this, this, way this motion. That would just, that's excessive. You don't want that, obviously. No. Okay. So again, drop the right side slightly and then push. Okay. Then with that push, bring the body back. Yeah. Yes. So when you have enough time, to drop the left side slightly, then you are ready to go for the downswing.
Because you are not having enough time there. Yeah. So when you have a good push with that, you are shifting here, yeah. then it's an easy reverse pivot posture here instead of intentionally try to do this. So leg action will give you natural recentering. With that, you have uh, you just lower the left knee a little bit. Yeah. Then you are in good position to, uh, I was probably to doing, go. I would do this correctly, and then I was probably doing this versus that. The, let the curve go down a bit more. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. So using the leg push, and then you have a good mature back swing. Yes. Yeah. And that allows me to wind. Mm. And then bend the left knee slightly, yeah. So try to go to that uh, position as part of the backswing. Okay. So instead of go here and then on the way down, try to lower this side again. Okay. Go here and then drop, and then on the way down, just to kick the ground and then let it go. And then also make, a, make the motion a bit faster in the back swing. So uh, let the clever go around your body. So that's what happens. When you, have a, when you give enough speed, yeah. then it's a lot easier, but you, you're cautious here. So you are losing time here. Okay. There's an action go quickly here, and then by shifting, you have more time here okay. instead of going cautious here. And the cautious is probably, the, okay, that makes sense. Probably causing me to not continuously wind up. Yeah, this, the, uh, this time it was a, a lot better. So the, yeah, because of the, the fast backswing motion. Okay. So let the clever go. Instead of fighting, let it go. You can always, uh, instead of going slowly like this, <clears throat> all the way here. Yeah. That's one piece motion. All the way. That, that's good. So let's, let's do the rope swing. Now swing the rope back and forth and then make the motion really smooth. Uh, still, the leg action is too early okay. compared to your arm action. So the leg action really should give you this motion here. Okay. Throw the rope using the leg. Instead of leg goes here and then arm goes here. Okay. So specifically on the left side. Is, okay. The timing is a bit off. Mm. No, no, no. Instead of just standing up, your goal is to throw this quickly. So in order to throw quickly, you have to use the left leg. No, no, no. So the reason why you're having the timing issue is that always you go up here and at the beginning of the downswing, you, you lower the body. But this has to be done as part of the backswing and on the way down, just let it go. So I'm waiting at the top. So uh, that has to be done as part of the back swing. Okay. So push and with this, you go to this position. Yeah, there and then just uh, kick and then throw. Okay. So I feel like if I give it more time and pause, then I'll be able to. So what happens is you are sitting down and then later the arms comes down. Mm, still the same, still the same. So uh, oh, let me record this, then you will see. So that uh, lowering of the left side should be done earlier as a part of the back swing. Okay, just keep swinging. Swing, swing. Yeah, so look at this. Always you are going down first and then try to turn. And so, 
So the down motion, you don't have to intentionally go down here. And, and but by using this push, push, and then lower the left side. So if I'm going slow, if I'm, even if I was just without the rope, mm. if I was just going here and going push. Push, and then to this, this is the end. And this is pretty much where the rope will be wrapping around. Yeah, yeah. And then by just the kicking the ground and just a turn here. That's a lot easier. Mm. Push. Rope is wrapping around as I lower. And then kick and turn. Then I kick. Then this leg kick and then body turn is matched. Instead of me going push, weight, then squat. Yeah. The rope is already. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's what the throws off the, uh, the timing. Again, so with the arms here, yeah. practice then. So for that, you need a good right leg push. Yeah, at the end of the push, you have this motion here, this position. Yes, that's why you need some time up there. Yeah. When the tradition is mature, then what happens is a push, and with that time, you are lowering this side, preparing for the downswing, and then let it go. Gotcha. But always, if you go up here and then, Then the body, lower body action and the upper body action are separated or they are dissociated. Gotcha. And this was, as I go this way and push and actually land this way, mm. that could potentially stretch the moment on even. Yeah. Because you, have, you push, you have good push, and then you, at the same time you have unweighting here. Yeah. And then we are ready. In the, in the downswing, all you need to worry about is just pushing the ground and then throw. Okay. And then turn, just, yeah. Yes. That's, yeah, that's the timing that I so need. it's not intentional lowering here, yeah. but rather at the end of this push, you have this lowering motion. Okay. So this lowering is coming from the right leg push instead of go up here. Because that's what it that's why I've been intentionally trying and, but to This is actually a common uh, misunderstanding. Even instructors, they uh, teach the step, step. The but instead, mmm, and it's just drop this idea. Okay. It does, it does feel like, from a face-on view, and this is what I've been here to see when we go back to get a little bit of a club or a regular swing. When I do that, it feels like I'm really leaning this way. Mm. But, but in motion, it's not that much, yeah. Because it, when you have dynamic motion, you have good control here. Yeah. So your legs do not allow your body to go too far out. Okay. Yeah. So lot, now, during the backswing, try to use the right leg actively and then try to drop the left side as part of the backswing. Okay. I might do, is it okay if I do these a couple ropes going slower? Or is that mm -hmm. Yes. Throw, yes. That, now the timing, timing of the leg action and the upper body turn are well matched here. Yes. So I should be, I should be having that lowering is this just wraps around me this way about. Yeah. So uh, you give enough speed, then uh, usually if, if you rush then before it goes here, you already start the pulling. Yeah. But if you let it go all the way, then in the backswing, your goal is just to give enough turn here instead of trying to quickly go down. Yeah. This is what you want. Then as you shift, you're still turning yeah. in the backswing direction. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll get that. Throw. Now, swing hard by kicking the ground. Kick, yes. That, and then I can feel this thing. Yeah. It just, yeah, yeah, yeah. From there. yeah. Okay. That's and then try to throw it uh, well, outwards now. Yes. Yes. Now you, you see your left leg is a uh, mm. <laughs> Well, yeah, I can, I can feel it too. Yeah. And that's what I would want. So aim about here, okay. slightly outward. And, okay, swing, yes. 
swing, uh, swing, throw, 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 yes. Yeah. It could be better. So when the timing is right, then you can easily throw this way. Yeah. But if the lowering is late, then you tend to come in this way. This time a bit off. Now it's getting better. Throw. Yeah. Throw. Okay, I can see on those last two. I yeah, can yeah, see. yeah, yeah. Because I could feel when it was getting a little mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. I had to so back. when your body intentionally tried to go down and then try to swing, the upper body is already turned here, so you're going this way here. But when you finish this as part of the back swing, and then as if you push and then let it go, then you can really throw yeah. this way. Interesting. Now let's make uh, the back swing more vigorous. Okay. So, so don't worry about the down swing part now. If you just uh, have a rigorous back swing, then it automatically uh, you know, goes that way. And throw this way, throw this way. Right. Yep. Uh, you hold it a bit longer, all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yes. Throw both ways. Throw both ways. Yes. Whoa! Your your rope swing is getting, getting a lot better. <laughs> so the fact that you can throw it. That means uh, the upper body turn and the lower body action are matched, yeah. timed well. That's why you can throw both ways. Well, and the timing, so the, the timing getting into my left side actually did feel easier to do when I made it more mm -hmm. accurate. Because uh, when you have active action, then you're pushing the ground more with the right leg. Yeah. Then you, by using that force, you can easily come this way. Yeah. Now. Again, throw slightly outward. Okay, ready, go. Try to feel the motion of throwing motion. Throw out, throw out. Hmm. Yeah, the, the motion becomes a lot more rhythmic. Yeah. You can, once you are in this rhythm, then you can easily control the overall motion, so you can repeat the motion again and again. So you don't have to swing really hard. If you want to swing hard in the, uh, in the downswing, then just uh, give more wind up in the backswing. Okay. That's, I still need to give it enough yes. time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready, go. Throw. Throw, throw, yeah. See, that's not at all what it feels like. Hmm. So as you shift this way, still the shoulders are turning backward. And then naturally you'll be able to drop and then kick. See, that's, that's the very interesting, because visually, if you were filming, I was like, okay, that's gonna look like <laughs> you usually, because you are accustomed to this, and then when you go slightly uh, this way, slight reverse pivot will give you uh, the feel of uh, going like this. Yeah, but it doesn't look anywhere near mm -hmm. that. So uh, the upper body is a lot more, uh, the head is a lot more centered here. Yeah. And then the downswing, the, the power is coming from. Starting it with the close the body posture here, and by kicking and then letting go. Yeah. Instead of opening early. When you open early, then you have to use the arms. Yeah. Unless you are pulling in this way. So in order to uh, throw that way really, really hard, then mm, and then keep the back toward the target. Mm, and then let it go. You know what the nice thing about that is? It's like you visually have to give yourself permission to do something. And, and, and seeing that, it makes it all, okay, this is... And then, so now, now to try to have a bigger arc here. Let it go, and then bigger arc here. Okay. And then run the end of the rope around your body. Yep. Yep. 
So in the end, now the goal is to throw it rapidly, yeah. and then you're using whole body to do that. Yeah. That, that round there felt, because I was feeling that push, and then the weight, and then I could feel the timing of this. And so that when you turn, you can use the left leg. Yeah. And also, in the downswing, you don't have to shift it this way too much. So it's just a, a little bit of recentering. This is enough, and then kick, and then let it go. So your upper body will lean that way for balance, because the arms and club are moving fast this way. Yeah. So then when I get here, mm. I kick. And which way am I pushing? Am I pushing up and left? For uh, the left leg, the, the force is still fairly backward here, that like way. this. So I'm here and I'm pushing. Because the, the arms and club are moving really fast here, so you have to support that. Yeah. Uh, and the impact, most of the force acting on the club is actually this way here. Okay. In order to give this force, you have to push the ground the opposite direction. this way, so the force goes this way. Yeah. This force is really big. Gotcha. Yeah. And my, like, before, when I would go, so now I have a visual of that, if I go to the top and do this, when I'm pushing off of this, it's yeah. not... Already, already the body is going here and then try to do something. Yeah. So these are completely dissociated. Now let's go to the club. Let's do the stage three. So use the initial trigger motion and they have active backswing. So always uh, when you want to have an active downswing, then you have to have active backswing. So if you have to increase the effort, then it's got to be the backswing. Yeah. Uh, the back, in the back swing, again, body moved uh, too early. Right. Remember, all matters is uh, moving the club head around your body. So, mm, mm, this motion, instead of mm. So I was too much this way. Too so early. here, you do the shifting here, yeah. but then when this is completed, then you start the turning. When you s turn, then let the club go around your body. Okay. And so the right leg has to help. This turn, yeah. okay. the same way uh, in the downswing. Okay. So pay attention to the club head motion. Your goal is to move the club head around your body, using the body. The body, the right side, the stand up too early, and then the arm followed. So here, mm, woo. Woo. Am I, um, this is a good question. So when I get to here, hmm. am I supposed to be using this push to accelerate the club from? So using the body, and the, you will turn the shoulders and then let this go here. And then make sure at the end of the, ro the club head goes around your body. Okay. Instead of early, stand up and then try to do this. <clears throat> So the push, the push is happening too early for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So both the ways, both the ways, you are using the legs to make the club head go around your body. Okay. Now downswing is improved quite a bit. In the backswing, the same thing. So this instead of. So delay that push a little bit longer. So when I get to here, then go around and then kick. Hmm. So here. Yeah. You don't have to lean too much here, okay. but go here and then go to this side. Yeah. And then now turning around the right hip and then turn here. Okay. So it's almost like there's a little bit of rotation and then. The so you are basically turning around the right hip in the back swing. Okay. And then the right leg is supporting your body. Mm -hmm. So your body is uh, going and opening too early, and then this is following late here. Okay. So when you shift, still you keep this closed body posture here, and then introduce this as a turn as one motion. So mm, here, and then turn instead of. Ah, uh, okay. So maintain the turn, turn position, just shift, and then. Then start to turn. And, then turn. and also, also go up here. On the way down, you're forcing the club going this way here. Okay. Instead, 
let the head go here. Let the head go around. So I shouldn't be trying to do this. So the, what you are doing is this one here. You go up here. Still, you try to run the club this way here. But instead, go up. So the club has to follow the swing plane here. Yeah. But this is, in your case, you're going this way here. Wrist is uh, putting a lot of effort here. So the, the club is away from the swing plane. Okay. So if you relax your wrist a little bit and then feel the motion of the club head here, then this motion here, oh, okay. let the club head go here oh, okay. around instead of try to, use the, try to use the hand oh, okay. so that force the club head motion. Okay. There's no reason to, uh, normally if it's an easy motion, then the hand leads first a little bit and then let the club quickly catch up, catch up here, instead of like this. You're putting a lot of effort in the okay. wrist. So again, your goal is to move the club head around your body, not your hand. That's better, that's better. Yes, 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 yes. Exactly, exactly. Then now you have a good amount of backswing here. Yeah. So the, the key is uh, moving the club head. So again, so uh, you are shifting too much. Okay. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, pay attention to the club head motion. You are moving your club head. Yes. Exactly, yeah. So now it looks a lot more natural. <laughs> yeah. So that means that you have to mobilize your wrist a little bit. Okay. To, uh, mobilize your wrist. Okay. Okay. Remember, you had the early, uh, early uncocking, right? When I was trying to do these, I would actually go here, shift a lot, and there's a lot of Kind of mm -hmm. So let's, this is too big. So uh, what happens is you're going here, and then instead of this, yeah. try to point out here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Okay. Because you're going here, and then yeah, it's a bit too late. Ah, uh, okay. So no need to go that far here. About okay. this much. And also, oh, because you start from there, that's why this motion becomes big. So from here, just to go directly this way, using the body and then bring it back. Okay. But you are doing this. Uh, okay, so don't go back at all. Mm. Just kick with the left. Because uh, eventually we have to get rid of the trigger motion. Yeah. But if you have to rely on this motion, then do the trigger. You have another trigger before the trigger. Multiple triggers. Yeah. So okay. start from here and then just this motion. By, by using rhythmic motion, then let it go, bring it back. So the goal here is to run the club head around your body. Okay. You know, for that, you need a shift, but it's not for the pleasure of shift here. Rather, this pleasure, make, uh, the, this shift motion makes this turn easier because you're turning around the right hip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That timing is good. Now the, the, the transition timing here is a lot better. Okay. I, can, I can feel when I go back correctly, just like with the rope, how I get here anyway. Mm. It's just mm. now so the thing is that when you're using the club and then introduce the, the trigger motion, the size of the trigger motion can be anything. It can be this big and go here, or only this big and then go here. But your body motion is similar. Yeah. The only difference is the, how far the arm goes here. Okay. But, mm, still, the body moves the similar way mm, mm, versus mm, versus. Gotcha. Body motion, in terms of body motion, there's no difference. It's the same. Yeah, only the arm motion shows a difference there. So maybe for someone that is. Bit more hand upper body dominant, maybe it's better for them for a short period of time to feel 
little longer trigger to. Yeah, but it's easier. Yeah. But if you cannot get out of this, you cannot make the motion smaller with a good body motion. That means you are relying on this range of motion to try to uh, do okay. this instead of using the body action. Try to go. That's why when in the stage X, when I ask them to do mm, active one, they cannot do this because they always rely on this range of motion here. Ah, okay. So in order to get away from that, you, know, uh, you have to reduce the size of the trigger motion, but still your body has to move well. And then at the end of the backswing and downswing, connect it. Currently what happens is, Ooh, and then ooh here is that ooh, ooh. So, ooh, Vijay Singh is connected. Okay. Not ooh, Vijay Singh, not this. Okay, that's more of the, that's more of the old pattern. So, we'll connect the backswing and the downswing. Again. Again. So try to try to make it smooth. Hmm. Now in the back swing, try to try to uh, turn the shoulder as much as possible. Good. All you need is a good wind up. So with that, you will throw the club in the down swing. So in the, on the way down, instead of using the arms, use the wind up and then throw the, throw the club instead of snapping the club. I feel like that's what's gonna, when I look at it on video, that's gonna be the design factor. Like, hit here, I have to let myself have enough time to wind, and then go. Mm. So, but uh, that uh, mature, mature transition should be a continuous motion, not a complete stop. So oftentimes what can happen is that if you have a, a bit jerky motion, then Mm, and then stop here and then mm, here. Yeah. Then you're basically shifting and then turning at the same time here, at the same time here. But when you connect this, ooh. So as, a, as your shoulder is turning, you're already introducing the recentering motion. So while you're recentering, your shoulder is still turning. Yeah. That way you have a mature back swing. And then using the leg, let it go. So now, make the trigger, backswing, everything rigorous. Let's see how it goes. Again. Mm -hmm. Now a bit better. Yeah, again. Yes, <laughs> as you. As you, make, as you make everything more rigorous, you are finding that, uh, the, that flow, yeah. better flow. So again. <laughs> does, that, does that look better? So, so yeah, so instead of thinking too much, yeah. real, uh, just uh, feel the flow. Okay. All you need is a ooh, 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 right? Use good shoulder turn to uh, drive everything. Yeah, again. Yes, that's better. <laughs> better than the previous one. Yeah, so give me five of those in a row. And as you do that, you have to feel the flow and then find the more comfortable flow. Still, uh, you know, it uh, should be rigorous, but then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, again.
So key the extra turn at the end at the end of the backswing. Okay. So in your image, you just key the extra shoulder turn instead of go and stop. Mm. Stop and then start the downswing. Rather, mm, continuous motion. That's what it is. Then. That's exactly what I see when I would, when I would do this pattern. I get here and I say, oh. Yeah, at, like the look of that. at the at the top, you you tend to stop. So make it continuous. Yes, yes. So the only way you know you can make it continuous is have the image of giving extra turn yeah. at the end of the back swing, extra shoulder turn. And it's kind of like extra time. Yes, that extra shoulder turn gives you a better connection. Yes. Now you started using the, the big uh, body muscles. Yes. So now what I see is uh, you start engaging these muscles here well. Okay. When you stop here, then it's a fairly arm uh, motion. So go stop and then try to do this. Yeah. So what lower the body and then go this. But if you turn and then this motion, arm is still there, but the turn, body turn, and then throw. Yeah, so that's a, that's a good piece at the end. Give extra shoulder turn. So if you can uh, get that, then you will see uh, your motion is a lot more continuous. And also on the way down, you start the motion with the body. Yeah, a bit uh, moved uh, this way too early. So here, wind up enough and then unleash it. Here. It's that, that's the hardest part is when I go back, I feel the club head going, but this isn't going with it. And it feels like I'm turning, but I'm not. I need to... And you, you tend to open the chest a bit early. Yeah. Uh, and then the lower body is moving quickly. But uh, so go here, mm, enough wind up here and then from there. Continue motion. Good. Ex add an extra shoulder turn at the end. And with that, start the downswing with the body. Still, you're stopping. It's sort of a, <clears throat> and then stop here. But instead, ooh. Is it good to, I'm curious your answer, but I know it gets better when I go faster and consecutively. But is it okay to train this in at a slower pace? No, no uh, initially uh, it's better to go faster. Okay. Then you, you have no time to think, right? You're currently you're thinking too much. Yeah. Try to yeah, figure out here. That's what I'm supposed to do. It's but when you, <laughs> when you rely on the momentum, yeah. and that the momentum will bring it uh, all the way here and then reverse the direction. Okay. Imagine you're slapping something. When you try to you know, slap hard, you don't <coughs> Like this, yeah. Rather, <clears throat> and that's why I've used a heavier object like the rope I had yesterday because to help me with when I go back here, so that it pulls me into the the, the turn a little bit more so naturally. So in the back swing here, you're developing this tension. You're using the tension, let it go okay. instead of ooh and the stop here. <laughs> instead of this. <clears throat> When you, when you connected the motion, then the, the tension built will be used in the downswing motion. And drop the club a bit more, drop the club a bit more. The, 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 currently, the club is a bit too high. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then from there, throw. So make a and then so a swing faster all the way, okay? And then let the club go all the way down. Yeah. That club position is a lot better. Now the club is here. And then it's a slide off uh, from the swing plane. Yeah. But earlier you tend to hit. So you tend to hold the club head early here, 
So that's why you have to use arms. But just let it go all the way here. Then it'll just give you good body turn here. From there, just initiate instead of. Gotcha. And when you do a regular, do you think this gets just gets exaggerated compared to what the regular swing is going to look like? It won't be, you know, like this in a regular swing. Usually, when, usually when you do the regular swing from here, because the speed is not as much as this, so it'll go a bit less. There's but still, line. you have to cross this horizontal line. But the position where it would cross or... And the, when, when it crosses, still, it continues this motion fairly along the swing plane here. Yeah. Then how far it goes, it doesn't matter because you can just reverse the direction. Gotcha. But it goes away from the swing plane, that causes uh, trouble because oh, the okay. swing motion becomes uh, more complex. You have to introduce the motion perpendicular to the swing plane. And so if I'm using the rope and it wraps around and hits me in the, the neck and the face, then it's too much that way. And if it wraps around the side of the body... Then it stays on the swing plane. Gotcha. Yeah, the same idea. So when you, have, when you give enough speed here, then as long as it stays here, then it's okay. Just give, uh, it just gives you more body turn here and going here. But if you go here and then try to keep it up here, then you have to use the arms to maintain this. And remember, in your, your swing, uh, you have the tendency of early release, right? Yeah. That's coming from the arm here. But let it go all the way here, to, using the body turn and then let it go. Gotcha. Yeah. So then you will be able to use the big muscles better. So. Uh, let the clavicle go all the way, fairly along the swing plane, and then simply reverse the direction. Yeah, that's, that's better. And then, and then your goal is to throw the club head in the downswing. Yes, throwing the club head motion. Your goal is to speed up the club head instead of moving the body. So go wind up and then throw. Yes. I can still feel, I know now, I know, I know. That was a good, that was a good turn. Yeah, that was a good body turn. And then keep the hands a bit closer to your body so that your body can turn well in this direction. So if the hands go away from your body, then what happens is try to throw and then go this way here. Away in the back swing? Like, like or this. Or transition? In the downswing. Down so when you just try to throw, but if simply just try to do this, then the motion is here. When you bring down here, let it go. Back shift. They come more this way as opposed to... Mm. So down. instead of doing this, gotcha. just come down, straighten the... Right arm, um, then it'll be in front of your body. Gotcha, okay. Because that's what's going to, that puts everything kind of together with, obviously when I feel like I'm this way, I'm really not too much, but um, if I were to the go Here, out, uh, go, go back to the position. So here, so yeah. it should be dropped this way. There, okay. Yeah. And then coming down, the hands come a bit closer to the body here. Gotcha. When this happens, Naturally, your body has, has to have a good turn this way here. Okay. So in the trigger motion, try to go a bit flatter. A bit more around. Mm. Okay. So maybe the target is about here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then your body, you have to turn your body more with the with flatter motion. Yes. Okay. So by using the trigger motion, you are guiding the downstream. If you do a trigger motion this way here, then your downswing should be also along that line. If you go a bit higher in the trigger motion, then you tend to go high. So go a bit flatter, using the, let the clavette go, using the wrist motion here, let the clavette go, and from there, bring it back, and also throw the clavette that direction. So match the swing plane of the trigger motion and the downswing. Yes, that looks a lot better. Still, the, at, the, at the end, the clavette goes this way here, drop this along the swing plane. So when I get around this way, I feel like if I keep winding, that I Yeah, you say, yeah, then the head goes this way here. So I need to, okay. 
So for that, you have to feel the motion of the clip head here. So from here, if you let the clip go, then this will happen. That, so you have to have a bit easy wrist here so that clip head can maintain the motion. But if you force the wrist position here. So it's more of a wrist than forearm. You go here, position. then you go to this position here. Uh, okay. But if you let the clip head go around your body. It'll be there, okay. That so so pay attention to clip head motion. Promote to good clip head motion both ways. Okay, I just have to let it, let it go on the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go a bit easy with your wrist so that uh, you can really feel the motion of the clip head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So let it go. The main thing is clear the motion. So, yes, that's better. That's better. That that line is better. That line is better because you are letting the wrist, uh, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Hmm. Because your your wrist is a, a bit uh, too stiff. So you're forcing the club motion certain ways, but if you let the club head go along the plane that it was supposed to move, you have to adjust your hand motion, wrist motion to allow that, right? That's a lot better. The club, head, club motion is a lot better because you are letting it go. So that the color bed will follow it, its path. Because I had worked for a little while, I was like, oh, maybe it's better for me to to delay this motion, just hold on to it, hold on to it, and then let it. Kind yeah. Of then, move. then uh, you are forcing the club to move certain ways. But if you just feel the so, in, in other words, uh, in theory, you know, where, when you have a really uh, relaxed wrist still, you will be able to generate fairly good amount of speed here. Yeah. By Letting it go instead of fighting, try to move something like this. I gotcha. yeah, let it go around. Let it go. Let it go around. I gotcha. Then it's here. So between like the for for me like between the kettleball and this, I'm probably too much kettleball style and too much around this way as opposed to with the rope. I'm mm. that's what I should. Particularly do. Your, your wrist is quite rigid. Wrist, that's why. Okay. So you have to have uh, this pronation supination here. This motion here, yeah. and then let the clavet go here, and the, let the clavet follow the the pet. So, you you know as if you are drawing a, 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 a picture or something. So you are painting. Yeah. That this is a brush. Then the what matters is the motion of the end of the brush. You have to draw things. It's not about your hand motion. Your hand motion will allow the end of the brush to move certain ways, and then create this nice painting, right? So the same thing. If you are drawing a painting using the club head here, club head is supposed to move along this plane here, yeah. and you will adjust your body motion to secure that. Gotcha. Instead of, I think what would help me at, at starting the swing too is because when I go forward, obviously going left helps. Yeah, yeah. But instead of going here, letting it. Okay yes, yes, that? yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then I feel like I yeah. Just let it go yes. Back that way. Yeah. And then it'll be on a yeah. So, so then uh, your wrist is not fighting. Yeah. It's just promoting good. Uh, I, wasn't, I was intentionally holding on to it here, not mm -hmm. letting it go. And also, when you really uh, hold it tight like this, then you have tendency to rush because you can uh, uh, dominate it like this. Uh, but if you let it go here and then try to do this, you cannot really dominate this. And then you can easily see whether the timing is good or bad. Okay. If you go too early, then you're going this way here. Yeah. But you wait enough and then let it go versus if you force it here, you, can, you can bring it back anytime, right? That's what I was trying mm. to do. Yeah. So Yes, then the, now the plane is a lot more consistent. And then in the trigger motion, you don't have to go that far. So uh, your hand is about here, and then let the club go this much. Almost just like a, right about belt high. 
and use the use the leg instead. So uh, instead of going too far, and also make sure that you, your hand is low here. Hold it, hold it, and go to the trigger motion. Your hand is uh, here, but if this goes high up here, when you have a big trigger motion, yeah. you tend to have the clip a bit high. Yeah. If, it is, if it's going to be a big motion, it, the, it has to go this way. Ah, uh, okay. Then you'll maintain the plane. But if you go here and then make the big motion and then clip is lifted here, no good. then from the beginning, you're off the swing plane. Yeah, 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 yeah. So because the swing plane is passing through the middle section of the body here, then generally the club has to move along the swing plane all the way here, all the way here. If, you, if it goes off, then you are introducing the off plane motion. Okay. The swing becomes more complex. Yeah, use the, um, use the curly head centric perspective. So I'm, I'm going to initiate, I'm not going to go back. I'm going to push and throw. Yes, and yes. Then, uh, you, then you do that. Mm. Yes, yes. And from there, then the let it go. Here. Yeah. So maintain that plane. Now swing fast. Okay. So uh, add the rigor in both ways. Okay, so ready, stage three, go. Yeah, so the, the flow is now a lot easier. It looks a lot easier. Yeah. And then you are not introducing this motion here. Okay. So it looks like this is over swing. Yeah. However, the clever stays fairly close to the swing plane. Yeah, and that's, that's what needs to happen because in a real swing, it's not gonna, it's not gonna do this much, but mm -hmm. it just needs to stay on that. Now, again, make, it, make everything fast. So five, five in a row. Feel the flow of the clip head, motion of the clip head. Yes, again. Yes, and emphasize the clip head motion, make it fast. And reduce the trigger motion, the size of trigger motion, but with that active back swing by using the right leg. So now, let's do a stage X. So you repeat the swing back and forth. As you do, swing, swing, and feel the rhythm here. The motion should be continuous. Instead of swing and then swing, not this one, but continuous swing back and forth. And then that rhythm has to come from the leg action. Swing, swing. Initially, just about horizontal to horizontal. Not, not the large. Just repeat the swing back and forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And feel the feel the motion of the club head, and your your body motion should promote that the club head motion. Throw, 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 throw. Now, here, we'll emphasize the backswing. So keep the trigger about this much, not this high here, about here. So here, about go about here, and then you have the active backswing. Without relying on this range of motion, if you want to have active back swing, you have to use the right leg. So, mm, kick, okay. kick, and come back, kick, and come back, kick, and come back. I need to use this guy. So, yeah, re repeat that motion. So, emphasize the back swing. No need to swing hard in the downswing. Mm -mm. No, need to, no need to swing hard in the downswing. So downswing, just drop it here. So, um, kick, and then bring it down. Uh, kick, and bring it down. So just, just emphasize the right side. Okay. The downswing motion is a bit too slow. So you have to maintain the rhythm. That means, ooh, ooh. Ooh, instead of ooh, 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 then you lose the rhythm. Those are good though for making me feel, because I can feel that here. Mm -hmm. If I was just gonna work on right leg stuff, I'd probably do a bunch of them. Yeah, so emphasize the right side and right leg action. 
and then just to bring it down and then throw it and then bring it back. Yes. Yes, now it's better, better rhythm here. Yeah. So that way you can awaken the right leg. Yeah. So practice that a lot. Yeah. Okay. So stage three and then followed by that one. Yeah. yeah. So try stage three and the stage X with the emphasis on the back swing. Mm. Yeah, and then stage X with emphasis in the back swing. Mm. 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 Yeah, so now in the stage X, we'll count. Okay, so one, mm, two, mm, three, mm, swing. So in three, you will have the actual swing. One, ooh, one, VJ, two, VJ, three, VJ, sing. Yes. So when you activate your right leg, then from there to regular swing, the migration is easier because you now know how to use the right leg. So now let's do stage three, stage X, and the regular swing. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then remember what you just did. Exactly. That's the idea. That's the idea. I'll so, be curious to see what that looks like from, uh, from the face on. So the, the reason why I put the stage X between stage three and the regular is that in stage X, we can intentionally emphasize the back swing yeah. and then um, awaken your right leg. Then remember that and use it in the regular swing. So let me record this, and, and then those, I'll also record on the front of you. So like a lot of students that are just so static in getting mm. going, as the pre-shot, maybe for them to awaken the right leg, doing a couple yes. stage acts, yeah. and then going right into it. Yeah, 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 so yeah. About. Yeah, so that's why I put the stage acts in between. So, you know, as long as you, you, have, you know the intention, that you can, uh, you know, get out, uh, get maximum out of it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, stage three, stage X, and regular. So ready. Stage three, stage X, and regular. Go. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Yeah, so keep practicing this, then naturally you'll have a lot more active back swing. When, you, when your back swing is active, then you don't really have to worry about recentering and all these things because this active turn will give you everything automatically. So all you need to worry about is a and then throw. Gotcha. Now the plane is quite uh, consistent. Yeah, much closer. Yeah, because now you know how to activate the legs automatically in the regular swing, you use this more. So on the, um, looks much better. On the stage X, what I see is I see the club going out away here and then around. Is that because I need to let it go more this way? So if you just feel to throw the club head, it'll go around, yeah. but still you're, you're trying to I'm, drag it. Okay, so that's mm. why. So when I'm looking so at by it. kicking and then throw and go around, Throw and go around, come down. Throw and come down. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Instead of lifting the arm up here. Because when I go forward, if I just hang on to it, it's going to go out. Mm -hmm. So now let me record from this direction. Same thing. 
Yeah. Again, uh, ready. Stage three, stage X with emphasis on the back swing and then regular. Go. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. So that's why you, you need to so say it, count it. One VJ, two VJ, three VJ, go or sing, okay? So ready, stage three, stage X, and regular, go. Yep. So now you see how you start the back swing in the regular swing. All right, this is going to be interesting. As you will repeat this more and more, then you will find more flow here. So Swiss state rim. You see? Now the the way you start is is a lot more natural shift than then. Can I, can we slow the last one down and just kind of go frame by frame on the on the actual swing? Um, I'm just curious to see what you have slight shifted this way before you start. Yeah. See, and then going. But that's um, so that's so I can. That gives me confidence to even feel more of this, yeah, yeah, yeah. seeing how it looks mm. there. This is a really good posture. And then from there. Hips are loading much better in the backswing too. And I can still work that downswing, but that's mm -hmm. in the right direction. Yeah. But when you start the, the backswing, your body is slightly first moving this way. Mm -hmm. It's the body trigger, slightly going this way, and then start moving that way. You see? And then start. Gotcha. Because that's a natural way. Yeah. Because you practice this and this. In order to do this, you have to lower the body and then kick, kick. So because of that, even when you start here, you, you know that you have to activate, you know, act, have active back swing, then your body slightly move this way, and then go. Oh as opposed to starting this way, and then there's not enough kick from the right side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just, uh, mm. okay. So the right leg kick is really important yeah. in the rhythmic uh, you know, backswing. So uh, for that, you have to have a subtle body motion yeah. before that. Makes With sense. that, you can start. So from here, you have a little bit of shift this way. With that, easy shift and then let it go. Gotcha. So it's just a matter of practicing this. That's what I'm going to be doing. Mm. Thank you very yeah. much.